<sighs> Damn, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. Oh, man. And tonight, I'm going to talk about tonight's just gut wrenching and just extremely disappointing loss as the LSU Tigers lose to the Texas A&M Aggies as LSU, any hope of a playoff appearance is now destroyed. Yo. Um, before I get into the video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on the videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. <sighs> wow. Um, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a tough one, man. This is a real tough one. Um, real, real tough. Really hard to swallow. Um, but I mean, you got to give a a lot of credit. You got to give Chimbo and a a lot of credit. Look, as LSU fans, man, we made fun of them. Like we really made fun of them all year of, of Jimbo's style of coaching, of them paying for these five-star players and all that. Tell you what, those five-star players look like five-star players today, man. Um, A-Chain out there looked amazing, had over 200 yards on our defense. Um, Musim Muhammad's son out there, um, one-handed mossing people all night long. Um, you know, the defense with the big scoop and score. I mean, they, they just really took it to us, yo. Um, they out physical to us and we just didn't have a counter punch. Um, and it's been trending in the wrong way the last couple of games, man. Um, as far as the Arkansas game, we got away with it because Harold Perkins was just that amazing. We was able to get away with it. Um, couldn't get away with it tonight, man. It's, this a and team is talented. Like, they talented. It's, it's, it's unthinkable to know that they were 1-6 in six in the SEC before tonight with the talent they have. But uh, they were, man. And, you know, they had some real ugly losses. I mean, Appalachian State beat them over there, you know, um, soundly, too. So... It's a tough loss, man, especially considering everything that was on the line, you know, a playoff bird, um, you know, it would have win the night and then a win against Georgia. It, it, it's a tough loss, man. Um, breaking down the game in general, um, we couldn't stop them. We, we, they, they just, they out physical. This game was the most lopsided game we've played as far as from a physicality standpoint. When we lost to Florida State, you know, it was just, we kept beating ourselves, you know, with penalties and, and turnovers and stuff like special teams. Um, Tennessee, they just out finessed us, man. They just really threw the ball down the field on us and, you know, made it, and we, we had some missed conversion opportunities. Um, but tonight we just got punched in the mouth. We just got our physical at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Um, and it happens, man. It happens when you go up against a team that, that though they haven't played well this year, they have a lot of talent. Um, offensively, you know, we moved the ball. Um, Kyron Lacey had two big drops early in the game that could have helped change the momentum of the game. You know, and not to put anything on him, but you got to make those catches, yo. Um, Jaden Daniels wasn't terrible, but he had that big fumble. That's another play that I feel like changed the outcome of the game. We were tied up at 17, though we didn't play well with the ball. And... Jaden gets hit, he fumbles, and they pick it up and run it in, man. And that just turned the whole complexion of the game around. Um, we didn't, we didn't run. We missed Josh Williams tonight. Uh, apparently, he's dealing with some type of injury. Um, you know, Emory had a couple of nice runs. Kane was out there, but uh, we missed Josh Williams tonight. You know, we didn't have much of a running game. You know, um, the receivers were not great tonight. Um, then defensively, man, we, we, we couldn't stop. We couldn't stop them. We could not stop the run. And when they threw the ball, we couldn't, our secondary didn't play with the physicality 
to to separate the passes away from Muhammad as he just out muscled us for balls all night long. Um, it, it's a bad loss, man. It's an ugly loss, and obviously our our playoff chances are gone. Um, just when it was starting to really look realistic, um, it's gone now, yo. Um, the, but the thing is, I'm gonna say this though. Um, we finished nine and three. And to be honest with you, I know this loss stings and it's disappointing with everything on the line and the who we lost to and the fashion we lost. It, it, it's all frustrating. But look, before this year started, if we knew we would be nine and three and going to the SEC championship game, I would call that an extremely successful season. And I'm still going to call it that. At least you had a really good year this year. Look. This team is not as talented as it's going to be in the next couple of years, yo. You got true freshmen at tackles, man. You got uh, uh, your, your, your star, your lead running back is a, a walk-on, basically. You know, you got good wide receivers, but a lot of them are young. You know, you really going to only lose Kayshawn Boutte and Jaren Jenkins. And speaking of Jenkins, Jenkins got to hang on to that ball at the end, man. Like, that was a beautiful throw by Jaden Daniels. He comes down with that, and it's a touchdown, and it's, we're down eight with 2.37 to go in three timeouts. Who knows what would have happened, but, you know, it is what it is, man. But receiving core, you know, is young. Defensively, we played all year without Mason Smith, who was our best defensive lineman. Um, as an interior lineman. You know, um, Harold Perkins has turned into a star. We got a bunch of transfers in the secondary. Um, we're gonna get some we're gonna get some more talent in here, yo. Like next season and beyond, we're gonna have more talent and we're gonna see what happens then. But nine and three playing in the SEC West Champs, that's a very, very successful season, despite on how frustrating and how annoyed we are tonight, yo. I'm so I'm gonna look at it glass half full. Um, you know, now going into the SEC championship game, man. Um Look, we got to respond. Um, Georgia, everybody's going to pick Georgia to just thrash us. I feel like Georgia will be in the playoff regardless of if they beat us or not. They'll be in. But um, we'll see, man. Um, we'll see. This is an opportunity for us to be to win a championship, to be SEC champions. Um, and we got to go out there and play better than we played tonight, man. It could be done. You know, it's possible, but it's going to be very hard. But, um... We're going to see what happens, man. Just got to give it our best effort, play smart, hang on to the football, and make tackles and stop the run. Because speaking of physicality, you know, with those guys like Jalen Carter and all them, you're going to see physicality against the Georgia Bulldogs next Saturday. Hopefully we at least shall go out there and be respectable and have a chance to pull off a shocking upset and be SEC champs. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU, NCAA, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.